let me tell you about restoration restoration itakuwa ni urejesho ni kuregeshewa kile abacho ulipoteza kwa maradufu itakuwa yani ni maraika abaye ameassigniwa there is going to be a name to who will be assigned to fight for you to go ahead of you so that he may arrange the crooked path for you to pass through and get to your destination I am Daniel Jenga Maigwa I am saved Jesus is my personal savior and above all things what I cherish most and what I value most and what I am determined to do everything it to have my name written and continue being anchored or being in the book of life bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo nawapenda sana na najua ya kwamba bwana ameandaa meza kwa kila mmoja wetu haleluya i believe this is the season ambayo god is at work yani mungu ako katika kazi ya kutekeleza neno ambayo ameshakwisha iachilia the written word haleluya hivi kwamba all things abazo zimenakiliwa katika hii biblia they will surely come to pass haleluya they will surely come to pass it doesn't matter the opposition it doesn't matter the challenges and the battles that will arise to block the word and the purposes of god to be fulfilled into our days bwana asifiwe kile ambacho bwana amesema utapata katika hili neno na kwambia utapata whether the gates of hell will fight you whether all manners of witchcraft will work all kinds of ways to stop you i've come to tell you you are going to be unstoppable Amen. why are you so down church bwana sifiwe when you hear a prophetic word has been released take a grip of it lies to it and grab a hold of it bwana asifiwe i want to get into the word bwana asifiwe and the theme of my word the theme kichwa cha neno ambayo bwana ame nipatia ni restoration le restoration ama unaweza sema u rejesho haleluya somebody say amen yeah. wacha tukaweze kuingia quickly in the book of first samuel First Samuel chapter number 9 Chapter number 9 from verse 19 Tasoma tu mistari miwili tu Then ingie katika neno and then lastly nitaomba Bwana asifiwe The book of first Samuel chapter number 9 uh, chapter 9 there 
from verse 19 to 20. It leads like this. I am the seer. Samuel replied, Go ahead of me to the high place. For today you are to eat with me and in the morning I will send you on your way and will tell you all that is in your heart. As for the donkeys you lost three days ago. Do not worry about them. They have been found. And to whom is all the desires of Israel? Turned, if not to you and your whole family line. Bwana abariki neno lake. Nimetumwa na ujumbe ni gepan penda ukaweze ku draw all your attention attention because I'm about to release something in the spirit. Bwana asifiwe. I've come with a word. Ambayo it's very simple but it has a lot of things to go about with that word. Restoration. Praise the name of the Lord. Nilikuwa naomba bwana. Na nilikuwa natafuta uso wa bwana. Especially concerning these days we have come into. The Lord spoke to me and said, that I am about to visit my people for the purpose of restoring them, my God. Jani nina anda kutembelea na kukuja kwa watu wangu kwa ajri kwa kusudi ya kuwalegeshea chochote abacho wamepoteza Bwana asifiwe kila mtu kuna kitu amepoteza Naweza kuwa ni biashara umepoteza umepoteza pesa zako Sijui ni nini hicho abacho umepoteza lakini I've been sent with a prophetic word that the Lord is about to visit you for restoration. Amen. Hallelujah. Nimeomba Bwana sana hiyo wiki. Nimelia sana hiyo wiki. Kwa sababu I see that Many of us, many people, they are wandering, struggling, and searching for the things that they have lost. But hakuna mahali zinapatikana. Sauri punda za baba yake zilipotea. Taka ukaweze kuona venye connection huwa inaingia vizuri. Sikapotea. Sasa akaambiwa na wakiwa na mfanyakazi wa babake wa enende watoke wa tafute kule punda zilikuwa zimepotea. Bwana asifiwe. They could not be able to navigate through ways and places where they, they are, the donkeys of their fathers got lost. How are you going to see that? 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 
kenye ambacho hakiko katika maisha yako Bwana asifiwe ni tu kutafuta na kwenye unatafuta mahali ambapo unaelekea hawa It took three days searching with no fruit Bwana asifiwe sasa wakasema sasa si tumezikosa wacha turudi yule abai walikuwa na yeye akamwambia mahala ambapo tumefika hii kijiji kuna mtu wa Mungu abai tukienda kuulizia habari za punda za baba yetu kwenye zilipotea yeye atatuambia kwenye ziko my god sawa so, akamuuliza we don't have any gift we don't have anything that we can go with to see the man of god he was a seer somewhere praise the name of the lord sauli yule mtu walikuwa na yeye akamwambia niko na kitu kidogo wacha tuende shida ni kwamba siku hizi tulizoea wale ambao bwana amewaweka for the purpose of prophesy and see on our behalf you see in the natural the servant and the priest of God they see in the spiritual realm you struggle you wander around this world fruit with no fruit but if we can just honor the priest that has been put there for the purpose of speaking to us of saying on our behalf then whatever you are looking whatever is lacking in your life alimwambia kitu ya ajabu sana ya kwamba leo tunakula na tukunywe pamoja na wewe na nitakwambia everything that is in your heart mambo yote ambayo iko ndani yako nitakwambia na si tu kukwambia nitakupatia suru watu wako na mambo ambayo inawakera katika mioyo ya praise the name of the lord the lord is speaking to us about the story us he told him ya kwamba everything that is in your heart ile mambo ambayo inakusumbua hiyo yote nitakwambia hiyo yote nitakuelezea jinsi ambavyo utatoka kwa zile shida haleluya and when they went there wao walikuwa na fikra ya kuenda kuulizia habari za punda za za baba yao lakini kube bwana alishakwisha chagua huyu Sauli ili akaweze kumuinua na kumfanya mfalme wa Israeli praise the name of the lord yani unatafuta vitu unangengana kwa kutafuta mambo ambayo hauyaoni lakini chukua tu hatua kuja tu kwa mtu wa Mungu ulizie habari ya chochote ambacho unaona kimepotea umepoteza pesa kwa kwa the roads ambazo huwa yani ni michezo ambayo iko katika mitandao 
umepoteza pesa zako wana sifile haujawahi win simecheza mara moja hiyo hatuwezi sema si it's you you cover it up wana sifile lakini nimekuja kukuambia hivi whatever you are struggling to attain bwana asifiwe whatever thing that is lost in your life ama kile ambacho kina kina rack katika maisha yako there is going to be restoration let me tell you about restoration restoration itakuwa ni urejesho ni kuregeshewa kile abacho ulipoteza kwa maradufu itakuwa yani ni maraika abaye ameassigniwa there is going to be an angel who will be assigned to fight for you to go ahead of you so that he may arrange the crooked path for you to pass through and get to your restoration kama msimu huu ambao ni wa tauni watu wamepoteza vitu mingi wamepoteza hata tuseme jamii zao wamepoteza biashara wamepoteza pesa Praise the name of the Lord. There is going to be restoration. Mimi nataka ukaweza kufungua macho yako zaidi ya pale ambapo upo. Praise the name of the Lord. Jo na kuja kwako nikiwa nimenyenyekea sana sababu I know that the God who at in heaven is able to work out ways for you to be restored haleluya jo alipoteza everything alipoteza watoto wake alipoteza utajiri wote wake haleluya akapoteza mali yake This man was a tycoon in his days. Lakini when the enemy struck everything that he had got lost as the enemy struck. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini mwishowe juu ya mambo yote aliregeshewa by double portion. Hallelujah. Najua sasa hii uwezi amini lakini mark my word. You will come to testify. That when you spoke a word of restoration God connected me with somebody who was an angel to me. Who Lili drive drove me to the place where restoration is Mwadhani ya Washu Watu wengi yani afya yao imeendele inaelekea kuzoroteka kudidimia because of the health challenges that they are facing I want to declare over anybody who is facing health challenge unasumbuliwa na mwili unajaribu madawa yani afya yako imezoroteka lakini have come with a word a very very phenomenal word that your health is going to be restored i say your health is going to be restored The enemy cannot compromise with the matters of your health. He ain't gonna let you go 
of the fire of the Holy Ghost will consume him. Wacha ni kuambie. For you to be in good status of hell. It's worth in the eyes of the Lord. Bwana anafurahia wakati wewe hauko na mahala ababo katika mwili wako hakuna maumivu hakuna ma, yani hakuna uchungu Sikubali tu Amen Najua Benjamin nasikia Najaribu tu ku, kujipu kujipu nguza kidogo Kini I have come with a word. I don't know that which you have lost. Haijalisi, it's been for many years that you lost it. Takuambia, venye buwana aliniambia. Yani ita, ni mutihani. Ni mutihani. Ambayo, ni kama aliandika one plus one equals. Sasa siyapo unajizazia. Si ni mtihani rahisi sana. Bwana asifiwe. Aliniambia 3 days the donkey got lost. And when they came to the man of God, he saw. And not only did he saw, he told so. The donkeys which got lost 3 days ago, they been found. Ile zile punda za baba yako zimeonekana. Praise the name of the Lord. Three days. Wacha niseme hivi. We are going to put a sacrifice. A 300 sacrifice. It's a challenge. Na usikwazike moyo. A sacrifice. What is it? At the end, we see a body that is in front that is before there. We call on it. What? At the end, now the big who bear the sacrifice to a monk. Aga, to a biwe, a body is a front that is to a biwe. Hata sio tu punda Hata zile vitu Abaso zilizo kuwa nani yaki Kuna mambo ipo katika moyo wako Bwana anataka Kukuvihilishia kwa upana Vile ababyo anataka kufanya Praise the name of the Lord He told me In three days to come, from now onward, some of us, ikiwa tutati, venye neno rabwana litatu, tia katika mtihani. Three days, there are things you are going to find. Kuna mambo utakuja kuyaona. Abayo haukuwa na uwezo wa kuyaona ama kuyapata. It will take faith. If not three days, he told me three weeks. Within which there is going to be some things abaso zimepotea. Which within that three weeks you are going to see them. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe kanisa. Kusimama bere za Bwana na dhabihu. Hiyo ni ishara ya kuonyesha unyenyekevu wako. Bwana asifiwe. Hiyo dhabihu it goes beyond the natural in the supernatural to bring your kings. Bwana asifiwe. to me talk at 3 weeks ambazo you will wait if not 3 days 3 weeks 
if not three weeks, three months. Three months. Abazu, Bwana atakulegesea. Kire ambacho, umetafuta, si umetafuta, tumetafuta, tumengengana, tumehagaika, kama venye pa, venye so aliagaika, anaenda hapa, hakuna mahala anapata. Anafanya biyashara hii, inakata. Anatafuta msaada hapa, hakuna. Ni kungengana. Lakini, ebu agalia. Ebu agalia hii picha. Walipo enda kwa mtu wa mungu. Hawa kuzitafuta tena. Kuna mambo ni mpaka ukuja kwa mtu wa mungu. Ili kungengana. Kuhagaika. Juu ya kutafuta kenye unacho tafuta kufika mwisho. Nini ya bacho unangengania? Nini ya bacho kiko katika roho yako? Don't do it by your power. Don't try to do it by your wisdom. Just come on the altar with a sacrifice. Sasa kenya tumebakisha. Neno tumesikia visuri. Neno limekua na a great impact into our lives. But what is remaining? And the enemy is fighting us. From hell and from earth, not to do is to come with a sacrifice. You don't have to pray so much. You keep on praying over one thing. Have you ever come with a sacrifice? Have you ever read a sacrifice on the earth? Praise the name of the Lord. Mimi nataka ukaweza kuchukua hatua. Ya kwamba, I am putting a sacrifice on the earth. He told me, Jamizetu zime sabaratika. Watoto wetu wameimbiwa kwa pombe. Wamepotelea usherati. Wengine ni uzinzi. Wengine ni dawa za mihadarati. Wamepotea. Hata ukitia juhudi kwa pereka. Riha. They are becoming worse. Very worse. To praise the name of the Lord. We are going to pray. And if you have your three hundred. Ni mutihani tu. Mini nisema ni itasema hii. Hata ikiwa it's so challenging. These days. Hakuna mutu waliye itua. Na mungu. Abaye haku simamisha sacrifice. Na sacrifice. See. Although it's been so exaggerated. No. The sacrifice abayo. Buwana anatuambia. It's for three days. Three weeks, three months. Within which tell me, kama kwamba, you will not be restored. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to declare to us today, I thank you, hauna 300. God will give you. Lakini, I know there are things which are lost. I know in your family kuna mambo ambayo hayendi vizuri. Praise the name of the Lord. 
are you hearing me itaomba but when we pray holding sacrifice we can be able kupenya katika ulimwengu wa giza katika ulimwengu ambao haonekani kwa macho umesikia kuna mambo ambayo imefichwa hatuwezi kayaona si tu kwa maombi kuomba tutaomba na kufunga tutafunga lakini kufanya hayo yote bila kusimamisha ndabigu it's all in vain praise the lord